there's one story that comes up all the time about Chicago, which is maybe pure fiction, maybe it's not, but nobody's proved it. And that's the story of how Chicago is known as the Windy City. In fact, it's the great spoiler story. People say, well, you know, people think that that's about the wind. But it's really about the famous New York editor, Charles A. Dana, writing an editorial about Chicago being big-winded and trying to land the 1893 World's Fair. So it's this great, you know, did you know? It's the weather. But no, it's really Mr. Dana. Nobody's ever found Dana's editorial. However, people were using the term Windy City in the past before even there was talk about a World's Fair. So there was references going way back about Chicago being windy. It's not the windiest city that there is, but we do have the lake and winds come in. But there also are early stories where they talk about Chicago, you know, being very much full of itself and being pride and bragging and whatnot, and that wind as well. So the answer is both and nobody knows. And actually, I'm looking forward to this age of being with computer recognition of old type and whatnot. Maybe they'll even find the Charles Dana quote someday. But what really makes the story great is that you don't know. And you can, telling the story, you can tell the story of wind. You can tell the story of verbal wind. You can tell the stories of how people have mis interpreted the story, perhaps wrongly or rightly, nobody can say for sure. There's even the story of a man in New York who researched the origin of the term Big Apple and took on the, what does Windy City made, and he had his own interpretation. So it's all of this combination, which ultimately has no real answer, that makes a really good story. Thank you for listening. Please review our other available content for help writing, publishing, and marketing your book. If you have any questions about the Author Learning Center, please contact us by email at authorsupport at authorlearningcenter.com.